Why did I move back to Phoenix? Well, there's a few reasons. Five I'm gonna talk about today. I'm Courtney, I'm a realtor from Real Broker, here to talk to you about all things Phoenix. Okay guys, reason number one, affordability. So I know Arizona has become more expensive to live in, um, particularly in the past three years. Um, however, compared to Colorado, California, and other West Coast areas that we were previously living in, it is significantly cheaper. And I'm not just talking about housing and rent, um, also just looking at our daily expenses like groceries or gas, going out to eat. We did give a lot of that up in Colorado and California just to make ends meet and have our primary expenses paid for. So there's definitely a higher quality of life here because we can still afford to go out to a restaurant. I personally love a cappuccino. <laughs> That's my um, guilty pleasure, if you will. So being able to afford that and enjoy those things really, really impacted our quality of life here and is a reason why we ultimately decided to come back. Okay, reason number two is the traffic, or should I say lack of traffic. Now, I know some transplants that have moved here from smaller areas um, do report that there is traffic. So considering that Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the United States, I'm telling you guys, the traffic is minimal. There is a rush hour in the morning and a rush hour in the afternoon, but it's not that like gridlock system that you would see in like LA or Atlanta or even Denver sometimes gets pretty backed up as well. But with that said, if you aren't from Arizona, if you aren't from Phoenix and you're moving here, you have to realize the whole geographical region of Phoenix is huge, much larger than other cities. So you do have to keep in mind though, it can take you quite a bit of time. If let's say you live all the way on the east side, let's say East Mesa, and you're trying to commute into Phoenix, that is 30 miles. So it's gonna take you some time. So factor that in, but overall traffic moves really really smoothly for considering for when you consider how big of a city phoenix is it's great guys you'll love it okay reason number three i moved back to phoenix the sunshine we get 300 plus days of sunshine a year oh so, yeah i know it gets hot here but to be honest i've lived other climates where it's cloudy and cold and that really affected my mood so it's much easier for me to tolerate the heat in the summer than it is for those cloudy days in the winter to be honest with you guys if you can make it through one summer here your body does get used to the heat it gets easier every year and the great thing is there's air conditioning everywhere and also if you're an outdoors person there are colder climates only about two hours to three hours away that's significantly cooler like 20 30 degrees so there are some ways to escape the heat in the summer and get a little reprieve don't let the heat deter you guys it really is beautiful most of the year just a few months in the summer that you have to get used to just the hot temperature and living in ac reason number four so the outdoor activities okay so i'm a colorado girl and for a while i was kind of had a hard time leaving the mountains but there's something magical about the desert that has grown on me so much first off you got tons of hiking so even just immediately around phoenix you have south mountain phoenix mountain preserve uh superstition springs white tank mountains the list goes on and on it's pretty crazy how many trail systems are around here and if you're willing to go a little bit further well then you have sedona which is absolutely gorgeous you have mount levin outside of tucson you have the grand canyon which if you haven't been to the grand canyon you gotta go it'll blow your mind away i still go there a couple times a year and every time i see it i'm just like Holy crap, like how is this even real? And that's only about a four hour drive. So it's an easy, amazing weekend trip. So some lakes that are close by on the north side, we have Lake Pleasant. And then on the more northeast side, there is Roosevelt Lake as well. Another awesome thing about Arizona and Phoenix in particular is that there is a large group of trail runners. And when you start going on some of the trails around here, you'll see why it's so conducive for trail running. Um, they really are just these slow, gradual hills. And it's really dry here too, which is something that I particularly enjoy <laughs> with running. If you guys are interested in trail running, there is a great community here called Aravipa. I guess you would call it a community. 
they throw out races across the state, um, various types. Some of them are like 5K, some of them are like 100Ks, 100 milers. Um, but it's just really, really well produced and set up races. And it really feels like this amazing community. I know they started to throw events in other states. Um, there's been a couple in Colorado. I believe there's been one in Utah as well, um, but they're definitely expanding. And you can, when you go to one of these events, you're going to see why they're expanding. They're doing so well. It's just a really, really well run trail run. So check them out. If you're interested in trail running, I promise you will not regret it. As I mentioned before in Arizona, there are a lot of towns that are at higher elevation. So they're significantly cooler, like 20, 30 degrees. So often I take my dogs a couple times in the summer and we'll go someplace like Flagstaff or Sholo, Payson, Pine Top. These are all areas that are really beautiful in the summer and it's just nice to get that reprieve from the heat. Okay, the fifth reason why I moved back to Phoenix and the ultimate reason I moved back is the community here. So Phoenix has a ton of transplants, people from all over the US. And I think there's something about it that just, people are seeking friends and they're overall very, very friendly. When I left Arizona, I realized how much I missed these people and this sense of community that I had developed here, why I lived here. Um, so that was ultimately what brought me back to Arizona. And I know this isn't unique just to me. I've talked to several people that have transplanted here. They left their family, their friends behind, and they talked about how easy it was to become integrated into the community, whether it was joining a gym or going to a meetup or a kickball game. I mean, the people that I have met here, some of them I really consider family. Um, it's really a beautiful thing, and that's ultimately why it feels like home for me. And I realize everyone has a different recipe that gives them quality of life, but Arizona really is just the perfect mesh of everything that I need. And that's ultimately why I chose to live here and make this my permanent home. So if you guys have any other questions of Phoenix, it really is an amazing area, but at the same time, it isn't for everyone. Um, I wanna be as honest as possible because there are some challenges, particularly with the heat, uh, but if you can tolerate one summer, I'm telling you guys, it is absolutely amazing here. You will fall in love with it. There is something enchanting about the desert, particularly if you're an outdoorsy person, okay. I need to stop. I can go on and on about it. But either way, if you guys have any other comments on why you love Arizona or maybe why it's not the best place, please comment below. I want this to be a community where we can really be transparent and share what's going on in Phoenix. Um, if this is helpful for you at all, please like or subscribe. It helps me substantially. I appreciate your time and I hope to be your number one resource for all things Phoenix.